Ho! It's me again, and I'm back with another update on the van. And uh, she's going to work tomorrow, half built, because I've got a desperate job in for someone who's desperate. But anyway, I'm in a good mood. I've got a door in, and I've put a false floor in because I've got no space for my pressure washer when I've measured everything up. So what we've got here is I've got a false floor, but I need to obviously box it all in round here and the hinges that are underneath I need to put on top because it doesn't hinge right well as you can see so it needs to be able to flip up I think just so I can get it out but look at this we've got a door in we've got a door in I still need to make them panels I've been running the streets again for materials and power cables and you name it you name it I've been chasing it so today I didn't even start work till probably four o'clock so that wasn't good but I, I also had to go me get me material this stuff so what a nightmare I had they had two units one were open small thing no one were in so I waited probably 40 minutes thinking they're gone to the post office and they were actually in the other unit, which I didn't know about. So I wasted 40 minutes there. Then it started raining. Then I had to go to the most expensive place in the world. B&Q! To have my pants pulled down and receive a dry one. Still sore now. Uh, then I had to go to Screw Fix to go get some uh, plug adapters for my generator. Oh, nightmare. Could have done without it, to be honest. But, good news is... Got my false floor in, and I've got one door in, and I'm making my other door soon. So, that is super duper, super duper. So, I don't I don't really know when my van's going to be ready, to be honest. I think, I think Friday, uh, just because of what I've got to do. Uh, I'm still waiting on my few bits arriving. Because obviously the post is garbage at the moment with the COVID. So that's that. I still need to wire the lights up. Well, pull the cables for there. Uh, and make them panels, which I'll probably make them tomorrow when I finish this job. Because it's only it's only a two hour but, uh, interior. Just seats, carpet and a bit of a spruce up. Two hours, 45 quid. Can't really grumble, so I'll be back for 11 o'clock to work on my van. So... Hopefully, I'm going to carry on working till probably 10 o'clock tonight anyway. So hopefully, I should have this other door done. And in. And I still need to make that panel. Too busy running the streets rather than working on my van. But it's starting to come together and take in shape, which is excellent. So, yeah. Oh, I need to go get me new uh, hoosie hoosie. Which is here. The beast. 102 quid for the hose. 20 meters though. So that'll probably take me. Well, past that car there. Easy. So it doesn't really matter if I can't even get to the cars. If I've got to park two cars down, three cars down, it, I don't think it really matters. I'll still be able to do the job. Because obviously, if you know Britain, we're rammed with cars so we have issues it's not like usa where we have plenty of space where you have plenty of space i do know i have been i've worked there in massachusetts so i know how it is but britain uh, were mobbed 65 million people living in a size of a 50 pence piece so it's not great for parking and especially in yorkshire parking's at a premium so that's me and me update today. So I, I well, it probably don't even look like I've been busy, but I've been I've been flat out. So I've had to make the false floor, as you can see. So it's not going to be long. Oh, that false floor, I've not recorded making, and I don't think I've recorded making cutting the doors because my camera went flat. So I'll run out of a, run out of space on SD card. I can't remember. So I got all the way through and uh, had wrong carding. So, well, it's only a square frame with some pieces of wood over it. 
you know it don't take an idiot to work that out so you don't really need that any anyone can do that but all the brain thinking stuff i've uh, recorded or as much of it as i can where i can get in uh so it's getting there it's getting there as you can see i put my bulkhead back in but that's coming back out again because i need to take that panel out but i needed to put that into measure for the floor oh listen to this the person at b and q look at look at gap on that cut it 20 mil short anyway it's probably worked in my favor because i'm able to get my cables up for my sub because i've had my sub in my jet washer's going to be here and i'm going to put a small compressor here as well then my sub and amp are going to be there so it's going to be ace because i'm going to have a compressor so i can run a run my tornador or tornado or whatever they're called the thing that blows out shower carpets that's what it is so i can use that and that's going to be great and i'm hoping i can pro probably if i'm lucky put a water purifier on there so that'll be awesome and then i think tomorrow i'm going down to my mate's plumber's yard because he owns his own plumbing company and does all supplies and fits and that lot is so he's got everything so i'm gonna go down to his uh massive workshop and go and nick all this plumbing supplies so i can plumb my pump oh i don't know where it is it's gone oh some some step toes yard around here so i can plumb this in this is a little six liters a minute pump so that'll be on bottom of me reservoir i think i don't know which way it travels it'll tell me anywhere when i have a look at it that way travels travels through there so i'm all right so that's gonna come out of my butt into here and then out of here with a uh, increaser straight up into my pressure washer and i don't even have to take it out of the van which is superb so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have my set of drawers here and i'm gonna carry my buckets here i think if they don't fit in there with them so i'm gonna have bottle holders here for all my shampoos and polishing compounds and everything all my auto smart bottles I'm gonna be here across there my, uh, wheel brush holders and all that let me on all my detail brush holders and stuff on there and me and me lovely 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 generator which is here so 8500 so it's a bit of a beast and it's not silent it's an it's a, it's a noisy fucker so that's me update anyway i'm gonna get back to work because it's let's have a look on my phone 17 minutes past eight so this is going to be getting posted up straight away and i'm going to carry on doing my doors because they need to go in so yes i'm getting off and i will catch you maybe tomorrow i think so i should have quite a bit done tomorrow it might be wednesday we'll see so i still need to make that info panel as well but oh just job and it's the never-ending job guys it's the never-ending job we know how it goes with stuff anyway i'm getting off so i can get done get going get this van on the road and get it paying for itself because it needs to because it's cost me a, well it's cost me a pretty penny on it you can imagine two sets of carpet 140 quid no it's no cheap insulation everything oh that's another thing that has to come out because that needs to be insulating so i still got to rip it back back apart again but i've got to get it some kind somewhat functional for tomorrow and uh yeah and then it's gonna everything back out again <laughs> so we can get it on working in it but it's a bit hard about face but i'm doing a favor for someone because they're super desperate for the car doing because the kid has been sick in the back of the car so and it's raining tomorrow as well oh yeah so i'm gonna get wet yes because I ain't using no gazebos because I, well, one I don't have space for and they take time setting up and I'd rather just put some waterproofs on because that's what clever people do and just get wet and if you're cleaning inside of a car you ain't going to get wet because you just close the doors you don't have to have all doors open and be there in your bikini bottoms or your mankini whatever you want to be in but, so, anyway 
that's me. I'm getting off. I'm going to get a bit more done. And uh, get this old bus put to work. So, peace out.